Now, we, we have here something called peer group. In many pages, you might have seen this. But we did not focus on that particular word when we configured BGP. We said neighbor, neighbor IP address, update source, uh, interface, interface. But we did not speak on this one. Peer group. What is this? See, you can use either peer group or IP address. What does that mean? It means that it is talking about the neighbor's IP address. That's why it is called a peer group. Neighbor group. Neighbor group. So <clears throat> whenever you have many neighbors with similar configuration to be done, Instead of going to each neighbor's IP address and saying update source, loopback zero, update source, loopback zero, update source, loopback zero, instead of repeating that for many neighbors, you can put all the neighbors in a group. And whatever you want to configure for the group, you configure once and call it in one neighbor statement. Like this, you see, a lot of peer group we saw, but we did not see what it means. Here it's this is the page where we are studying it. After going inside router OSPF, sorry, router BGP, you say neighbor peer group name means it can be any name. It can be internal. That is what the name they have given here in the example. See, internal is just a name, it's not a command. <coughs> so, you can give any name, neighbor, and then any name. That name can be your name that you will understand. I will say IBGP peer. Because with IBGP neighbor only, we will have Similar configuration to do. If I have five IBGP neighbor, for all IBGP neighbor, I need to do same configuration. So instead of repeating, what I can do is I can use this command called peer group. And then I can create a template with all that repeated parameters. And then I will call that template with neighbor. For example, you see, in this example, if there is no peer group, what is this mechanism? <coughs> Okay, yeah. See, actually, how many neighbors an outer C has got? An outer C has got 24 one, 26.1, Now, For this three neighbor, I have same thing to configure. Remote AS 65100, 65100. Update source Lubac 0, update source Lubac 0, update source Lubac 0. Next up self, next up self, next up self. Distribution, instead of repeating like this four lines for each neighbor, Put it in a template, one, two, three, four lines. And for each neighbor, you just call the template. It will inherit it. Easy, no? Now, to advertise a network in BGP, we need to have the route in the routing table. If you don't have a route in the routing table, this configuration of network command will not be effective. 
Okay. So the network command subnet mask that you are going to put under the network command must also match. If match is not found, it won't advertise. And if you don't use the mask command, it will consider as a classful network. So, in an interface, you have 172.16.10.1. Ten dot two slash thirty. Now, if I want to advertise this, I go under router BGP and say network one seventy two dot sixteen dot ten dot two. No need to put two. Don't put two. Put zero and mask 255, 255, 255, 250, this, this slash 30, matching. In case if I put the zero here, then it will not advertise. BGP will not advertise this network. It won't advertise. Even though this 24 means up to here, it won't advertise. Why? The original mask on the interface is not matching. So in the routing table, it has got 30. It should match. But what if? What if I want to advertise slash 25, sorry, 24. The original mask is, twin, uh, original mask is 30, but I want to advertise 24. What, what to do in that case? In that case, you need to write one static route and point towards this interface, this interface, let's say F00. So that static route will be there in the routing table, no? Now the condition is met. If the route is there in the routing table, it will advertise. If you have slash 24 mask, only then it will advertise. For that, you must do something to bring that route into the routing table. You see, like this. You can have even this type of, this is called supernet. You might have heard about subnet. What is supernet? Less than the default mask. But make sure the routing table have this one. If routing table don't have slash 16, you cannot do this. And you no need to do this. Why? When you don't put must, it will be default must. And don't put one here, put zero. The route looks exactly 192.168.1.1 slash 24 in the routing table, but cannot find it. So it is not announced any, it, 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 it will not announce anything. Mm -hmm. So these things need to be remembered whenever you use the network command. See, this is a topic which is just for knowledge, synchronization rule. Because this topic is not effective now. It is, now synchronization rule is useless. Early, earlier days, this rule was important. 
because of one mistake Cisco did. To cover the mistake, we used to have this rule. What is that rule? <laughs> if I if I show you the example, you will definitely think like, why the Cisco is doing this type of silly mistake? What is synchronization rule? I'll give you an example. No one should eat rice until Ambani family eats rice. I'm just asking, is it telling this? No one in India should eat rice. Only if you see Ambani family eating rice, you are allowed to use, allowed to eat the rice. Is there any connection? Is there any connection between Ambani family and our family? No connection. So it's a stupid rule, right? Ah, synchronization rule is also that stupid. You see, OSPF is an Ambani. OSPF <coughs> running in this autonomous system is like Ambani. BGP is like our family. We are telling BGP, don't advertise this network. We are telling BGP in router B, don't advertise it. Don't use it if OSPF is not using it. Funny, you see. Do not use. Do not use or advertise to any external neighbor a route learned from IBGP until match is found, match has been, matching route has been learned in OSPF. Is it, is it a useful rule? No. So Cisco has offed this rule from this version. This is an old version. From very long time, like 15 years back itself, it is off. If you want to on, you put this command. Then Ambani have to eat, only then you can eat. OSPF need to? <laughs> Not getting the root. OSPF need to propagate the root. Only then BGP can propagate the root. It's a funny rule. Now you see this example. Read it, please. I'll give it to me. D will learn from B, but it won't use it or give it to C or A. Bangalore will receive from F. A, yes. C will never learn. Okay, it has got direct connection. Yes, C will also learn, but it won't give to anyone. And it won't even use. No, whatever you learn from IBGP should not be given to another IBGP. Yeah. If synchronization is on, this is the problem. But good news is it is off by default now. Okay, these are all example configuration. We have done these things, lab. Okay, so now the next topic is states, BGP states. Yes. See, initially, when you configure a neighbor by putting neighbor's address, it will search the neighbor reachability in the routing table, isn't it? It will see how to reach that neighbor. It will check whether the route exists. 
that is what called as ideal state that searching period when the route is formed immediately it will do three way handshake because it's a three way tcp protocol isn't it that is what called as connect the three way timing you know the time taken to do the three way handshake and once the three way handshake is successful only then the very first message with the router id of the router and the and that and that uh, timer router id router id and the hold on timer for keep alive which is 180 second hold the time with this information open message will be sent and then you remember the neighbor address should match with the, the destination address of the sorry the source address of the packet should match in the neighbor statements neighbor table isn't it only if the match is happened the confirm will come from the neighbor and then it will go to establish if it is not matching it will be in active state if the source is not matching with the neighbors neighbor list it will be in active state keep on trying to match what will be the solution for that update source isn't it Mm. That's all. Yep. Now, what if it is an ideal state always? Which means check the routing table. There is no root. No, no, no. The route itself is not there in the routing table to reach the neighbor. Yeah. Yeah. So if you see established, then you can use the command show IPBGP summary to see the neighbor. We have done this lab. If it is active for a long time, it may be because of one of this problem. Maybe the source address is not matching, or neighbor is not configured, or the address is wrong in the neighbor statement. Uh, or the neighbor statement itself is not configured, or autonomous system number also misconfigured. So whenever autonomous system is misconfigured, you will see this type of error message. Lot of ifs. All right. So that's a clue. If you see this message, notification message, then go and check the autonomous system number. Instead of twenty, you might have given two hundred. It is all verification command. Now authentication in BGP very simple. On both the side, you need to put the same password, same neighbor IP address, and then the password. If you have the same password for many neighbor, then put it under the peer group. BGP will do hashing because it uses the MD5 algorithm, and that's it. Yeah. So this is the sample configuration. Got it? Straightforward, no? The, the, the configuration authentication is very straightforward. No need of what? No need of? No need of keychain or something like that. Yeah, straight away you put the password. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will be learning this. We will be learning. Let us finish this BGP, and then uh, if you want that MPLS layer three VPN, that also will finish, and then if you want that GRE, we'll finish that also, and then we will get into this uh, VXLAN thing. Okay.
um, rib failure. When will you get a rib failure? Whenever BGP's route cannot be used. Why? Because BGP's administrative distance is higher, which means there is another protocol giving the same route whose administrative distance is lower. Only then you will have this rib failure. I'll show you in the lab, okay? Now, resetting, if you want to reset BGP, there is hard reset and soft reset. That will refresh the route. To hard reset, we will say this command, clear IP BGP star. Or clear IP BGP, a particular neighbor to reset. This is hard reset. What is hard reset? Neighbor will get discarded, removed, and re-established. Whereas soft reset, if you put soft, the keyword soft, then it will not remove the neighbor. It will remain established, but it will try to resend everything again as the farming neighbor from the beginning. Okay, you can also say in and out if optionally. That's all, okay? So we need to do some lab.